Ukraine, where police clashed with protesters who blocked a building after a violent night in central Kiev Sunday. Anti-government protesters also gathered in the capital to remember one of their own. Meanwhile, the fate of the Ukrainian government remains uncertain. Opposition leaders issued a defiant response to President Viktor Yanukovych's offer to make one of their top figures the country's prime minister. CCTV's Stephanie Freed filed this report from the Capitol. Kiev's protest camp barricades are spreading beyond the main city squares into residential areas. Attempting to ease the crisis, Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych extended Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister positions to opposition leaders Saturday night, but they rejected his gesture, saying the fight continues. Among Kiev's protesters, the response was hostile takeover of this building police had been using as a camp. The protesters smashed through these front doors and they took over the building and the police that were inside of them. They eventually let the police go, but they kept their gear. Along with shields, the protest brigade calling themselves Battalion No. 9 most likely also confiscated police weapons. Battalion members here admit they are tired and hungry, but they will not quit. Ukrainian people is not scared, and victory will be with Ukrainian people. Down the road on Kiev Central Square, anti-government protesters are holding their positions. Two months ago, this area hosted tourists, shoppers, and business people. Now, it is a battleground. On the front line, demonstrators warm themselves at daybreak after another long, freezing cold night of clashes. Some have traveled hundreds of kilometers to join the fight. I have to be here. We are making our history. We are fighting for our freedom. If everybody will stay at home, there will not be changes. We won't change. Opposition leaders say Tuesday's emergency parliament session will be decisive. They want the president to resign and the government to be disbanded. And they want guarantees that an economic deal with the EU will be signed. Both sides want to avoid violent scenes like this. But until opposition demands are met, leaders say protests will continue. Stephanie Freed, CCTV, Kiev, Ukraine.